I am not kidding even a little bit when I tell all of you that it is Wednesday and it feels like not this Friday, but next. This has been a lot of week just to get to Wednesday. I was talking to the crew about that before we went live. Good evening and welcome to Armchair Dragoons Wednesday Night Warfare. Over here to my left, as is so often the case, I have Velker. How are you, Velker? I am well. Good evening to you all. <laughs> how how you feeling about Wednesday? Uh, I can agree with your assessment. It's been a lot of week. <laughs> a lot of week in just a couple days. Oh, it's uh, okay. Look, you don't count. OJ, you don't Feature. count. Feature. That is that is that is that is foul pool, my friend. How are you, Mike? I am wonderful, and as my wife said tonight at dinner, it felt it feels like Thursday night. Oh, yeah, thir- I wish it only felt like Thursday. This has been. A little bit of crazy time up here in the, the glorious American Middle West. But tonight, we're going to play some games to forget, because that's what we do. And I, I don't quite know why I've got this naval wild hair, but I do. Uh, last Saturday night, we had a wonderful Fletcher Pratt game, a four-player game, that uh, resulted in a German victory at the Battle of the Denmark Strait. Velker, uh, loving the hood as much as he does, but was man enough to say he would defend the honor of the hood against the depredations of the Bismarck, and we would play Denmark Strait. We're going to play it for a different game. But before I jump into that, let me, as I always do, fire off a tweet so that we tell folks that indeed we are doing this. As I've said before, I don't know that this does any good. I don't know. We seem to get a lot more folks through other channels, but it's a tradition now, and God knows false traditions can't be done without. Here it comes. Let's see. Everybody's tired. Everybody's tired. The weather's turning too, although we did have some nice weather up here. All right. So instead of Fletcher Pratt, a system of which the Armchair Dragoons collectively are very fond, I'm playing it older, not certainly not older than Fletcher Pratt. Uh, we're playing a, uh, how about a middle-aged game of naval warfare called Victory at Sea. This is not Osprey's Victory at Sea, or Osprey's War, Warlord Games Victory at Sea. Different games, I think. I think even though they have the same title. This one was done by a company by the name of Mongoose Publications. And it actually became quite a success because it bridged a gap between more complex systems like Zay Krieg and the general public and let people in the door to give naval miniatures a try. Some of them went on and some of them didn't, but that's okay. And you're going to see how quick this is to teach and to play. And hopefully we get a nice quick game of the Battle of the Denmark Straits in just to lighten up your Saturday. Hello, John Stanley. He is he is actually the winner of the Dalinor Award because Mike was cheating. Um, Mike, OJ has again stepped into the role of the Germans. And so over there we have for him a photograph of the Bismarck. Let's take a look at her. She's, she's huge. There she is. There she is. Showing the folks at home. All of her beauty. All of her beauty. And over here, I have this. I just love this picture. I was so pleased to find it. This is the HMS Hood. A color photograph of her uh, before, obviously, before worse times. But uh, just truly a lovely, lovely ship. So let's learn about Victory at Sea and how you play it before we dive into the scenario. Um, these are all. These ships are all at the same one twelve hundred scale that we played with before. As a consequence, we're going to double all the ranges because I wanted to play on a big table. I didn't want to play on a little one. So all the ranges, all the movements are doubled so we can play at 1,200. Victory at Sea was supposed to be for 2,000 to 6,000. This game did derive, according to the design notes I've seen, from Fletcher Pratt. There's a lot that they took from Fletcher Pratt. And as a consequence, one of the things they took a player is never allowed to pre-measure distance and range. Hmm. You can't pre-measure. I you said I could. I thought you said... Oh, no. There is measuring. There is measuring, but you're not allowed to pre-measure. <laughs> to, to be clear, Velker, you can't pre-measure, but I can. Oh, right. That's true. Wait, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Got to give the old man a little bit of a help. A little bit help of help right here. <laughs> um, so, that they're, so that they're not allowed to do it. Every ship in Victory at Sea has firing arcs. So arcs are going to come in a little bit more 
than they did in our previous game. And we've got a useful template right here on the table. You can see it right here. And you've got one too, Mike. These are the arcs. All right. And each ship's turrets are going to only be able to fire in those arcs. So the ABs, as you can see, fire both forward, port, and starboard. The XYs fire port, starboard, and aft. The Qs fire only port and starboard. Where do we see those things? Well, we'll get there in a second. So you've got to fit within those arcs. Every ship in Victory at Sea has a separate ship rating card. And they're by class, as you might expect. We'll use the hood as our example, since I happen to be right over it. Here is, that's the Prince of Wales. There we go. There's the hood. And what are we going to see? Well, we're going to see her speed. We see that her speed is six inches. Well, now it's 12, right? We're going to talk about turning last. There's her target number, her armor, damage, crew. Damage and crew, you see those two numbers? When a ship takes damage equal to that number on the left, in the case of the hood, or the, uh, in the case of the hood, it's 41 and 59. If you take damage equal to that first number on the left, your ship is sunk. You're gone. If you take crew damage equal to that number on the left, in this case 59, your ship is without crew and has to surrender, but it doesn't sink. The numbers on the right equal either a skeleton, is, equals you've come down to either a crippled ship if it's damaged or a skeleton crew. And then there are special traits, which we'll talk about. But, and then, so let's take a look at the, uh, we'll talk about the weapon systems when we get there, but let's talk about turning because that allows us to slip down here and talk about how a turn works. First thing we're going to do every turn is roll for initiative. It is 2d6. Um, there's modifiers for civilian shipping, which we don't have any of. The winner of initiative gets to choose whether the person, whether his side will go first or will defer. We're going to activate alternating ships. So you'll activate one, OJ will activate one. You'll activate, he'll activate, all right? Movement, how do you move? Well, you move straight forward up to the maximum speed that is provided on your that is provided on your speed rating. Remember, we're doubling, okay? All movement except turns must be in a forward straight line. If you wish to turn, you may only do so once and you can do it only after you have moved half, at least half your speed in a straight line. This is not your maximum speed. It is how far you are going to move that turn. Okay, so you must at least move that far forward before you can turn, and it's half. You just can't, like, well, you can't spin on the spot, is the point. You're going to turn to port or starboard. How are you going to do it? You're going to take your ship, and I'm going to copy the hood so we don't mess anything up. You're going to take one of these templates. You notice I've made a lot of them. I'm going to show you why. I think I figured something out with this. This is obviously a turn to starboard. That's a turn to port, whichever one you want. You're going to take this sucker, and you're going to put it right next to your ship. Line it right up. Put that circle kind of centered on the stern. See what I did there? Hope you did. You're going to go like that. Then you're going to take this, and you're going to line up your ship. One. Two. Three. Four. And then you're going to delete this sucker from right underneath it. And I'll make you some more. Okay. That was a turn of four. Okay. Shouldn't be too complicated. So it's on the lines, not the sections. It's on the lines. Correct. You may move anywhere in that section, but you can move no, you can move no farther than the line. Okay. Take a look at the hood. You can see her turning is only one. These are big ships. They're not nimble. The Prince of Wales, the same. What did Bismarck and the other idiot have? <laughs> the other idiot? That's cruel. The yeah. Bismarck. Yeah, Prince Eugen has two. Oh, it's a one, and I think the Eugen is a two. Yep. So the Eugen's yep. the most nimble ship. But everybody else is a one. 
So once again, you're going to place this thing right next to it. You're going to take your ship. You're going to lay it right alongside your ship. You're going to give me one of these. That's a one. We delete it. We're done. We move on. That's a turn. All right. And I'm just, like I say, I'm going to crank out some more as much as we need. I just think it's more convenient that way. I'll get rid of this. No bonus HMS hoods. Sorry, Aww. Valker. So that's how, a, that's how a turn works. You are never required to move the maximum number of points. You can always move less. Okay. You must never, you can't stack ships. You can't run into each other. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're, we have no aircraft in this, so we can skip ahead. All right, how do we attack? Once you've attacked, you're going to want to shoot at each other. You're going to alternate firing ships. And again, the person who gets the initiative gets to say who goes first. You're going to say you're, you're going to pick a target. To be eligible, you've got to satisfy two things. It must be in the appropriate fire arc, as shown on the roster. And it must be in range. Remember, ranges are doubled. You nominate the target for every weapon you intend to fire all at the same time before any attacks are made. You can't wait for others. Okay? And you have to do it before you check arc and range. Measurement in this game is from the center point of the ship. So we're just going to look at the ship basically and say, for example, there's a center point. Kind of, I'll be, we'll be spotting dead in the middle, dead in the center. Let's see here. Ships do not block each other's line of sight. Hmm. All right. Every weapon listed on the ship's roster has an AD, attack dice score. This is the number of dice you're going to roll every time you fire that weapon. you are going to compare that die roll to the target's target score. For every attack die that equals or beats, you have scored a hit. However, extreme range, more than 60, is a minus 2. Long range is a minus 1. That's 40 inches. If the target is, uh, and if the target is large silhouette, that means you're firing at its beam, you get a plus 1. A one is always a miss, but a six is not always a hit. What? Once you, you will save however many numbers you hit, and then we check your damage. Every weapon has damage dice. You roll that many dice for every attack die that successfully hits the target. So let's take a hypothetical situation. At a normal range... The, the Prince of Wales fires its A turret with four attack dice. Okay, you see that there? Mm -hmm. At the Bismarck. We'll not consider any modifiers right away. But we see here on the chart that the Bismarck has a target number of four. Mm -hmm. So you're going to roll four dice for four plus. In total, right. You're, no, no. All four dice. Each die has to be a four or better. Ah. <coughs> so you're hoping to get a four or better. For each four or better you roll, you're going to roll its attack dice, which in the case of the Prince of Wales, a turret is two. So for every hit, you're going to roll two dice. All right. Good. This is then compared to the ship's armor score. We look again at the Bismarck, and we see that her, her armor score. So to hit the Bismarck, you've got to roll a six. What? <laughs> there are modifiers. But any roll of six may also call every hit you make for each damage die that equals or beats the score. One point of damage is deducted. Any roll of six may also cause a critical. If every six you roll, you must immediately roll the die again. If you roll a four or higher, in addition to your regular damage, you cause a critical. Okay. 
If you are firing at long or extreme ranges, it is assumed that though you are more, you are, it is more difficult for you to hit. And you see this in World of Warships. They do a nice job of reflecting this. That's going to be plunging fire. It's not that direct across fire. It's not plunging. So any shot at those ranges, you get a plus one to that damage die. Okay. Your secondary and anti-aircraft weapons may split their fire. If your ship's crew is reduced to zero, you are abandoned. You may not move for the rest of the game. If a ship's damage score is reduced to zero, it is considered to be destroyed and sinking. It may be removed from the battlefield. And we'll talk about what happens with crippling when it happens. There's all sorts of nasty critical hits. One of the things that we talked about is that Fletcher Pratt doesn't have critical hits. Victory at sea does. Remember when you roll, if you roll that four to six, after you roll a six, you may get a crit. You're going to find out on a 2d6 where it is, and we have charts, and all those charts are mapped out here, and they do all kinds of nasty things. You don't want it. At the end of the turn, there's a damage control phase. The person with initiative gets to go first. When you damage, when you attempt to do this, you're going to roll a d6. You get to add the ship's command score. You'll see that. On a roll of nine or more, you have repaired that damage. We'll obviously be noting these critical hits in the tooltips. You can never repair vital systems. Fire is nasty. We'll go over it, but obviously you don't want it. One of the biggest things in this game that really change it up are the special actions. Okay? The special actions are a sequence of things that you get to do that, well, they're special. They're, they, they, in, they change the game in certain ways. For example, all hands on deck. Oh, and some of these do require what's called a command check where you roll a d6 and add a command st score. One is all hands on deck. What this is, you get a modifier for damage control. And this, by the way, is you must call out a special action when you nominate a ship to move. You only get one special action per turn. Okay. Yep. Come about. This is a nine. This is pushing the ship's rudders to maximum. The captain orders his ship to turn hard to gain a position. You add plus to your turn. Plus one. That's a command check of nine. You may make smoke. In, If you may not shoot through smoke unless you have radar. You'll notice that certain ships have radar. Do any of ours? Uh, the Bismarck certainly does. So does the whales. Wales does. Yes, uh, the Prince of Wales does, yeah. So, do, so, so does the Prince Eugen. Hood's the only one that I think does not have radar. Would seem so, yeah. What does it say there? It's under special traits. Ah, but I have a torpedo bird. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, we'll talk about what that is, too. Evasive. Here, trying to throw an attacker off guard, causing weapons to miss simply by not being where they are. If successful... All your attacks must be re all attacks against you must be rerolled. However, you must also reroll all your attacks. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Flank speed. This one's automatic. You can add fifty percent to your speed for the turn, but you are at a minus one for all firing. Let's talk about your special abilities. What are your special traits, Velker, and on what ship? On the Prince of, uh, on the Prince of Wales, we have Aircraft 2. We do not have Aircraft in this scenario. Anything else? Armored Deck. Okay. Armored Deck. The ship has reinforced armor lining on its deck. Attackers firing on this ship do not get that plunging fire bonus at long and extreme. 
We have radar. We already talked about radar. It helps with smoke. And we have torpedo belt. A thick la reinforced layer of armor, often supplemented with sections of gas or water, lays beneath the waterline of this ship. This layer is capable of minimizing the effect of a torpedo hit. Any damage from a torpedo that affects the ship may be re-rolled at the discretion of the player whose ship has been hit. So you can say, re-roll that torpedo. You got any special abilities that we should know about, Mike? Excuse me while I uh, quit yawning here real quick. No worries. <laughs> it's been a... It's a Wednesday. Uh, I got radar and torpedo built on okay. along with aircraft on the Bismarck and aircraft and radar on Prince Huygen, so nothing different. Okay, so nothing different. I didn't think so, but I wanted to check. Now, there's also some special abilities for the uh, the weapons. You'll notice, for example, that here on the uh, on the King George King George V class battleship, the Prince of Wales, there's the special AP. That is armor piercing. I think that's the biggest one. They are capable of blasting through the thick armored hulls of warships, and they do great damage to the decks. All damage dice at plus one. So why would you not use AP? Well, you have to. I mean, you just get it. You just get it. Cool. It's a special thing. Now, there are also your smaller weapons that are weak. Okay? And I noticed that on the Prince of Wales, I think your anti-aircraft is weak. No, your secondary armament is weak. So yeah, secondary. I think secondary on everything is weak. Yep. Both and, sides. And that means your damage dice are at a minus one. Oh. All right. What does the AP for the torpedoes mean? Same thing. Let's okay. talk about what torpedoes do, though. How do we do torpedoes? Because they're the most. They're actually an advanced rule, but I'd never understood why. Because they're not that bloody complicated. A lot of this stuff is just. Simple. Anyway, uh, sub yeah, there's subs in this game. Torpedoes. <clears throat> Used as unguided underwater missiles, torpedoes are unusual weapons in that they are fired in salvos and operate a little differently from other attacks. A torpedo attack is declared in the same way as any other. When a torpedo attack is made, we will place a counter in contact. We will place it in contact with a vessel within 20 inches. That's 10 doubled. It's usually 10. So 20 inches, and in the arc, the counter should be placed along the target's beam against the side, only if the vessel is making a torpedo attack that would normally be making beam attacks against it. So you can't just get the beam for free. You're going to roll an attack die for the torpedo spread. They do not use the regular modifiers. They get a plus one if they are against the beam. Okay? Okay. But it, you'll notice it happens in the end phase. It happens later in the turn. That actually has huge consequences. If a torpedo attack scores a successful critical hit, the attacker may choose to re-roll one of the 2d6 rolled to determine who, what has one of the 2d6 rolled to determine what has been affected. They're that nasty. You know, you roll for your location on your critical hit, mm -hmm. and then you can roll one of the... Uh, you could say, nah, I don't like that six. I want to re-roll it again. Because uh -huh. maybe you want it to go somewhere else. But you would re-roll a six? Well, because it's not necessarily good to have a six in that instance. No, but isn't it vitals? It, well, it depends. We'd have to take a look. Um, all turrets and secondary weapons within 20 inches... Get a plus one to all attack dice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So is it actually 20 or is it 40? That's 20. I'm speaking of the, yeah. For every hit, a torpedo belt scores on the side of a ship with a torpedo belt trait. Roll one die. On a roll of four or more, the belt has been hit and the attack dice must be re-rolled. Oh, uh, there is a modification to weak. Okay. 
Modifier to weak, it's a minus one to all damage rolls, and only inflict crits on targets with an armored score of three or less. So you can't just blow up stuff with uh, weak weapons. Got it. I think that's all good. No torpedo attacks may be made by a ship in the same turn that it does one of those evasive special actions. All right, that's it. So let's talk about the scenario. Again, it's the Battle of the Denmark Straits. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There's one particular rule that I mentioned in Saturday's game that Velker is not going to like. Ah. <sighs> In May of 1941, the Bismarck and the escorting Prince Eugen finally broke out into the Atlantic and were free to begin their commerce raiding cruise. Just two ships of the Royal Navy stood in their way. The resulting battle would prove to be disastrous and lead to one of the most the greatest confrontations at sea the world had ever seen. Um, the Royal Navy player begins with initiative. Hooray! The HMS Prince of Wales was a new ship with civilian technicians still on board. If you ever roll a 1 for an attack die for your main 14-inch gun, you have to roll a second 2d6. If you get another one, that gun has failed in that turret, and you must reduce that turret AD by 1 permanently. It may not be repaired. What? So whenever you're firing that 14-inch with those attack dice, we're going to look out for that. That's for the Prince of Wales. Okay. Historical. Eleven minutes into the battle, a salvo from the Bismarck penetrated the Hood's armor and caused a massive explosion, splitting it in two. The Hood sank, taking but all, three, all but three crewmen with her. The Wales was badly damaged before the Bismarck and Prince Eugen managed to shake her off, ending the battle. All right. Questions, comments, opinions, etc. Everybody ready to at least give it a shot? Why not? Sure. All hands on deck. What else are we going to do? What else are we going to do, right? Well, let's see who's talking to us tonight. It is John Pfeffer. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yes, critical hits. Captains do not get killed. Captains do not get killed. Torpedo blisters. This has a lot of different... It does have many differences. I, there's absolutely no disputing that. Yes, that is so. Oh, and by the way, I made these. I'm so proud. This is for smoke. Check that out. Smoke. Smoke is good. Very impressive with his mouth. Very happy with I made smoke. In case anybody wants to make smoke. Velker, you're the man. You have initiative. Do you want to go... you want to nominate a ship, or do you want OJ first. to go first? Who does? He goes first. You're first. Mike, you got to move a ship. I got to move a ship. All right. What were the special commands that we can do? The special commands you can was do. One of them. Uh, go ahead. Was One of them was come about, right? Come about. You're pushing the, the rudder to the max. But remember, that one requires a command check. A 1d6 plus your command. You have to do a 9 or better. Right. You order your ship to turn hard. You get a plus 1 to your turning score for that turn. All right. going to skip that. So we'll take uh, Prince Eugen first. The Eugen's going to go first. Well, let's, uh, let's just show the folks at home that the Eugen... Grab the wrong show. I'm always grabbing the wrong one. The Eugen has a speed of 14 and a turning of 2. So that's what we know. So I want to turn her to oh, starboard. Turn first, okay. Starboard. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. that up Versus star, starburst. Starburst. Real mm, snug there. Good. Starburst. Now give her a pivot up to that All two. Right. And how do we get the pivot to work just right again? Well, what you're going to want to do is just is pick there... her up. You're going to pick it up and put it down. Okay. I'm just going to scooch it. And you can put it anywhere you want in there. But this piece has to go through the circle. It's got That's got to be the pivot of the circle. So that's one. That's one. 
Okay. And that's two. And if you're going to do two, you're going to have to do, there you go. That's it. Yep. Yeah. All okay. Good? You only move oh, after yeah. moving half of the speed. Oh, that's right. Remember, Mike? You have to. Oh, that's these. right. You got to yep. go, get. So let's let's put you back. Thanks, right Felker. Away. Yep. Uh -huh. I remember a rule. Rule remembering. Go ahead. I'm within the depths of my mind. All right. So my speed is seven. It's 14. Remember, it's doubled. Oh, that's right, 14. So I need to move seven, though, seven before inches. I can turn. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There we go. Now we can turn. Mm -hmm. Just so. Very nice. There you go. And you'll have to delete. Mm -hmm. Yep. Velker, and she doesn't... Turn move yeah okay, and she doesn't move any more well, after no, that you've got yep. well here's the point no she goes another seven Remember, she does go another yeah, seven you, she goes another seven because you got to tell me how far you're moving and you got to move half that before you turn gotcha okay all right and i'm good i don't need to move any further you i'm have good to, though, so that's the point oh, oh oh i got you sorry So the way to Done. go, that's cool. Belker, what's your first ship? Start with the hood. What's the hood speed? I believe it is, uh, it is 12. 12 inches, so what are you going to do? How far are you going? Um, so what does flank speed do again? Flank speed. Going flank speed is an automatic, so you don't have to roll for it. Uh, you get 50% to your speed, but minus one penalty to all attacks. I don't care about attack, so I will go flank speed. All right, so you're potentially you could go 15 inches straight ahead. Okay. Give me 18. I'm sorry, how is it 50%? Did I do? Did I do just do? Did I do failed math? I think you did. Uh, your modified speed is 12 plus 18. That's math. what I said. That's what math. I said. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Th thanks, man. And I will move turn a little bit. Okay, you may. And you're going to turn starboard. to Porter, starboard. So you're going to go that way. That's, That's port. Uh, having a tough time. Oh, didn't make it. Turning speed is one, so you can go any way up to one. Uh, what you want to do is kind of bring it to the, the back of it, if you can. Something about there? Yep. Does that work? Yep. Go right ahead. Mike, where's the Oigen going? How far? Or sorry, the Bismarck. Uh, Oigen already moved. Bismarck. Gonna... Bismarck's going to go 12 inches. She's got a movement of six, so That's she'll go all 12. Speed. And we'll go six inches and then turn to turn to starboard. All right. And she's got a turn of one. All right. So. Boom. Thank you. Yeah, all yours. Go ahead. No, all yours. Okay. Ah. Are you being a speedy boy? Well, you're both moving at a pretty decent clip. All right. I'll let you delete that. Get that out of your way. Belker, what you got? Right. Oh, I got it. Oh, you got another six. Yeah, go ahead and go my other six. Yep, go right yeah. ahead. You have to, as I say. Go ahead, Velker. You're good. Uh, I see how it is now. I can go. Um, I will go flank speed with the Prince of Wales. So I will now be able to go... Rush into your own deaths. <laughs> I will now be able to go 12 point five, No, no 10. 15. 15. There you go. Uh, You're good right where you are? Yep. All right, so we stop right there. And I say to you, Valker, who have the initiative, do you want to attempt any shots? No, I will not. All right, how about you, Mike? You got any? Um, it, it, okay, so I, I just want to make sure. First of all, what was the size of this table again? 
This table actually isn't all that small because I did go with the double size. Uh, this table I built to be, I know I doubled it. So, 100, 170. Yeah, it's 170 inches across. So. All right. And do we double what's on the range card? Yes, correct. Everything is doubled. Okay. We'll take a shot at Prince of Wales. All right. So who's going to do that? Uh, Bismarck. No, no. Stop shooting at the hood. He's shooting at the Prince of Wales. So again, I just remind you of the arcs. So okay. uh, the bit. So you're going to fire the Bismarck. And uh, which right. guns are you going to try to fire at? Him? You it, have to say. Yep, which and turns? just real quick here. Yeah, so I can only fire once per turn, right? Correct. And we're at the, and this is pretty much at the end of the first turn, or do we have a lot more to go before we go to turn two? I'm just trying to make sure well, I understand. That, yeah, you are almost at the end of turn one. You are at the bottom of turn yep. one. Yep, okay. Yep. All right, we'll fire turrets. Um, we'll fire turrets. Just fire with turret A, actually. That's all we'll fire with. Fire turret A. Well, we see that has a range of 80. We're just going to take a look at the range, the arc chart and see that that's the port and starboard arcs as well as the forward arc. So we're just going to... And what we're going to do is we're going to stick the uh, measuring cue right there. And you said you wanted the Prince of Wales? Yes. I don't think there's any question you got to hit. That's a hit. Now that's going to be extreme oh. range. So that's going to be right. a minus two. So what Velker is the target of the Prince of Wales? The target of the Prince of Wales is four plus. Four plus. So you're going to roll two D6, Mike, and you need, oh, sorry, it's three dice. So you, oh, no, it is two dice. The eight turrets get two, two dice. dice. So you're going to try to roll two dice and you need sixes. It does the radar help me at all? It does not. The only good the radar is going to do okay. you in this situation is the ability to see through smoke. Okay. Ah, it was almost there. Got up on the dice roller and rolled backwards. All right. All right. So those are two misses from the Bismarck. Velker, do you want to try a shot? You think you got anything or are you done? Nope, I'm done. I'm good. All right. So, Mike, you're done. All right. So that that's how shooting works. It's just that simple. Uh, all right, so that takes us to turn two, where the um, the British no longer have the initiative. So I need two d six from both of you for initiative, please. Five. Velker, your call. Um, you go first, OJ. All you. All right, we'll go with uh, Prince Oigan again. Who will go his full um, seven inches along with his turn to starboard again? All right. Do your half first. Yep. There we go. Look good. Looks good to me. All right. And then... Get rid of that thing. Are you yeah. running away? He doesn't look like he's staying for Christmas. He's running away. Well, gee, he's he's by far the smallest guy on the battlefield here. And <laughs> he's running away. Some look jerk. Some More jerks. Yeah. Some jerk has a tendency to... Sh want to shoot him up right away i didn't shoot first turn you did he has a point there last game last game <laughs> <laughs> you guys picked on poor eleanor and the prince of Oigan and took him out in one shot oh and to answer the question that was asked earlier smoke only lasts for one turn it's removed during the end phase during the cleanup phase so it just blocks for that one turn all right, so that was the Oigan. Velker, what you got? I have the Prince of Wales. How fast does he go? 
he goes ten and a quarter. Well, yeah, he's. I'm just saying how fast yeah. are you taking. I'm sorry. Porter starboard. Starboard. He's going to go to the starboard. Star Lord. Star Lord. You adjusted it enough yet? Is that just how far you want to do it? It's up to you. How do I do that good? Yeah, you just fidget him around. Just make sure it's roughly like that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Got it. He moves his other five. Mike, the Bismarck. All right. Bismarck will take all 12 inches of her turn with a, of her speed with the turn to starboard again. Very good. It occurs to me I can just drop him off this way. Mike is not being criticized for playing keep away with the uh, Eugen. Yeah, because everyone likes the Germans. For some weird reason. Um, <laughs> yeah, everyone likes No, them. they just like me personally a lot better than you, Velker. Yes. That's it. That's it. Velker, <laughs> yes. it's your move. I'm just joking, Velker. I'm just joking. It's okay. <laughs> are, you, are you going to get on your bicycle and, drive, and, and ride over here and smack me again? That's, that's it. That's what's going to happen. I, if I knew how to get there, believe me, I would. Except I have school I get... and I have parents. <laughs> yeah, you, notice, you notice the order he put those in? Like a good, like a good kid, right? Right, right? Put school ahead of parents. <laughs> so, the, the hood says what? Uh, 18 inches. Going that full speed. All right. Uh, I am so fast. You are. You're not slow. And now I do a pew pew. All right, that was both. Yeah, well, here's the question now. What are you, you're going to have to call your shots, and remember these arcs count now. So I gotta, you gotta look at the ship. You can't look at the arc. You can look at the arc, but you can't. No, uh, uh. A what? No checking oh. until you call it. He didn't do that. You put it right next to no, the ship. No, last ch time. I checked it. He didn't. He just called it. Oh, okay. Um, call the which. I was, which I was taking the shot. It was just, it was. I, I, I knew Velker before he ever pulled the card out that I was gonna have a shot with all four turds if I wanted it. What I wasn't sure about is if I had range on you yet. Uh -huh. All right, so that's a range of 66. Your ABs are, once again, we're going to take a look and see that that's our forwards. And, yeah, so it's going to be four. Yeah, okay, that'll work. So it's almost, and you want the Oregon? Okay, so that's straight. Ahead. Interesting. Ooh, that's out of range. What? Yeah, it is. It's not even really close. Splash. Oh, I thought you said it was 66. It is. It's still out of range. Yeah. Oh, oh, his range was six. I'm sorry. I was about to say, I didn't see you with the measuring tool out earlier, but I just thought, okay, maybe you did, and I was yeah. looking no, at the at, YouTube he's... chat or something. and. He's out of range. So, Mike, you get a shot. All right. Uh, we'll shoot. We'll take a shot at Hood. Shot at the Hood from the business. All four. Yep, all four turrets. The A's and the B's. And the Y's and the X's. Oh. So that's actually. All four turrets. I got four turrets. You've got. Well, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'd be a total of eight dice. Yeah. Those are all AP. I'm just looking at the whole thing. 
Mm -hmm. A, B, X, and Y. All right. Now what's the... Whoop, not there, me, dummy. I forgot to check the range. 80. Yeah, that... Oh, yeah, you're out there. So the Bismarck out range is the hood. That's what yeah. the deal is. Yeah, the A, B, and the X, Ys. Where is the X, Y? The X, Y is aft. Yes. I don't know as the X... I don't know as you've got a shot that way. With the X, Y? Yeah. The X, Y would have. Because... Oh, that's the aft. Uh, right, that's the card. Never mind. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. I was about to say, if anything, the A, B would be maybe a little bit in question, but the X, Y would definitely be... Yeah, that's right. And that's a shot... Yep. Right in the hairy Extreme edge. Extreme range. That's your shot. Six, six, so yep. those are all sixes. You're rolling eight dice for sixes. Eight. Eight. One hit. Two hit. Two hits. That one. Right. Got my got my six back from last roll. <laughs> now. <laughs> So there's there's the two hits. So now let's just walk through the process. You have two hits. They, the reason we could roll all those together is because they're all the same damage dice. They're all threes. Okay. So since that is so, you're now going to... I just want to check one other thing. Uh, does, the hood is the one with the armored deck, correct, Valker? The, yes. The, uh, the is, it? Is, the, uh, is the Prince of Wales. No. Oh, the Prince of Wales has the armor deck? Yes. Okay, so you don't... Okay, so this this is going to give Mike the plus one on the damage dice. Is that the one? Yep. Why? Because cause history. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so you got two hits, each of which has three damage dice. So he's rolling six dice. What is the armor on the hood? Armor on the hood, I believe, is a five. Uh, the armor is five plus. Five plus. All right, now... He's rolling six dice. However, this is long range, which is a plus one, and he's armor piercing, which is a plus two. Plus two? Yep. So he needs three. Yes, he's a plus two in total. So he's rolling six dice for threes or better. That's not good. Five hits. Right, five, five hits hits. and one rolled a six. Exactly. This one has got to be re-rolled. If you roll a, f it's it's. We have to remember we've got one, two, three, four, five hits. That six counts no matter what. But now you roll a one d six. It is not a crit. Two. And that was on the hood. You're going to take a look at the hood over here on your card, mm -hmm. and you're going to see that you have a total of, you see your you see your damage, 41. Oh. Ah. Uh. Right. Actually, you got 36 left. So you've got 30, right. He's got 36 left. <laughs> I just wanted to show that, I, that, that I'm old, but I can do math still. You can do My math. My dad apparently can't, but you can. Yeah, <laughs> no, wow. Oh, hey. And, and I did it in my head. All right, so Velker, did you want to try a shot with the Prince of Wales? Yeah, sure. I'm going to shoot with Bismarck. Big, mean over there. With which? AB guns. Your AB guns? You say that, and it sounds like a little pop gun. It's, yeah, it's, it's, My it's, AB it's, guns are going to hit you so hard, <laughs> you have no idea. I, I, the Prince of I Wales. Don't, I don't doubt that. It just. <laughs> the Prince of Wales ABs are fired. Ooh, they've got different attack dice. Interesting. Uh. But they both have a range. Oh, wow. They've got crazy range. I didn't realize that. Of 78. <laughs> pew, pew. It's a big pew, pew, if you didn't tell. Yep, that's a hit. Now, remember your special rule as you're rolling this. And as you invoke your fates. Why is the Prince of Wales so garbage? Because, as was said, she shipped out with a civilian crew. Why? It's such a high-level ship. Why are they giving it to citizens? It's... I don't know if they had a... <laughs> I, that, that Be, I'm because she, just, she had just entered service in 39, Belker. She yeah. probably hadn't completed all of her she's trials and, and tests. Give her good men. She's, got, she's got that new ship smell. It's better than the hood. <laughs> 
He's got, well, don't ever tell a British person that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ian Jackson's online. We'll see what his reaction is. <laughs> oh, boy. That's going to be a problem. I see that being Next, a problem. I didn't mean it. I did mean it. it was a joke. I'm just frustrated <laughs> with the failure of the moment. All that, right. that new headset's going to get you in trouble. I know, right? So now, the, that since you did hit with those mains, you're going to fire the Prince of Wales. Your A has four. Your B has two. So you're rolling six. Um, that is at extreme range. What is the armor on the Bismarck? I don't know. What is One second. I don't think you can hit it. Armor is six plus. Yeah, you can't hit it. You need to roll an eight. Isn't it the target first? Oh, yeah, what's it? Oh, yeah that's true. What's your target number, Mike? Four plus. Yes. And I, I, should, say, I, was, and I, I was, should check to see. Oh, and one. that's also... Oh, that's close. Lunging fire. Well, it'll be that'll be damage. I'm wondering if it's a beam shot. Uh, I know. I don't think so. That's not a beam shot. It's close. It's had very, it's very close guy, though. Had I been shooting at you, Jen, sure. No, 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 no. A beam shot is crossing his T. Is that remember this sort of inverts the reality of the the Napoleonic period? What you're hoping to have him do is turn himself all the way to the side so he becomes this big target. It's just like in World of Warships. It's easier to hit the guy that's like this than the guy that's like that. So anyway, what's your target number, Mike? I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, four plus, was it? Yeah, it's a target plus. plus. Yes. Okay, yep. so so in that case, yeah, it's a plus two because of the range, so it's a six. You need sixes. Six dice for sixes, Walker. Aha. Uh -huh. Watch me roll six sixes. I got one. You did very well. Now your armor is Mike. Six. Six. So I thought. Um, so now, so he's got the one hit. He gets three damage dice off that hit, and it is armor piercing, and it is plunging fire. So it's, in this case, he rolls three dice. He needs fours. Not big. One hit. He has nicked the Bismarck. You scratched my paint. Oh, it's a big old dent. You'll see. Soon it'll look like a car ran into you. All right. Did you want to try another shot, Mike, off the Eugen? No, we don't. I don't think Eugen has range, does she? Uh, range 37. Oh, yeah, range 37. That's for artillery. What do you mean? Yeah. You might as well. No. Who wants, who wants yeah. Shoot at? Um. Both ships are in range, I think. Oh, we'll shoot for hood. Which turrets? Um, X and Y. So you're going with the X's and the Y's. That's a wow. Well, those little, are the aft ones, right? Yeah, those are those little bitty pop guns. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one HD. They're one AD and one DD. Not all right, but that's still what they are. Mm -hmm. Seventy-four inches. And I'm sorry, you're firing at the hood. Yes. Why are you biased? By yes. History. That's a hit. All right, hey. it's, it's range. Um, you, so, because you shot at him. What's your target number on the hood, Velker? Five. Five plus. Uh, uh, he needs. Uh, he can't hit it. That four. he can't do. It is four. It's a four. Okay. I thought it was yeah. a five. It's a four. I'm looking at it right here. Oh, target is four. So it's a six again. There it is. So it's a six. So two right. D six so, four six. Two D six. Can he get it? Oh my One. goodness! Ah! He does. No. Uh, and it has one damage die, correct? Yes. <laughs> so he does. Uh, is it? And he doesn't have AP. I know that. So it no. is. Um, he is, may not be able to do any damage though. Uh, he does though because yeah, he does because he's got an armor okay. five plus and it's plunging fire, so it's four plus. Missed. Missed. No damage. You hit him. Scratched his that, paint. That did just scratch the paint. All right, that's all the shooting. The, fu the fuse didn't go off. So. It's your wet gunpowder. Wet gunpowder. All right, initiative, please. 2d6. Oh, all right, I got the initiative. Same thing. All right. 
Uh, we'll move Bismarck. No, we'll move Eugen first. Go ahead. What's your? Uh, how far are you gonna go? Uh, all fourteen inches with a turn to starboard. All right. The Fletch does not have rich Corinthian leather. That's funny. There we go. Velker, you're up. Running. Stop running, scaredy pants. That's your technical term. Yes, the Prince of Wales is hauling. Well, you want to, are you doing flank speed? In here? No. Okay. But he's coming. Don't you worry about that. Right there. Because he's going to do some gunning. What's the whales? Not great. Um, it's actually slower than the hood. Oh yeah, ten inches. All right, that is full speed. Hey, Jim, what's what's the rule on the whales again? Is if he rolls one when he shoots, he has he to take a, one a check. It, yeah, if he rolls one when he shoots, he's got to roll a second d6 right. off that one, and if he rolls another one, it fails. I right. did not roll. No, you didn't. I was watching. No, 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 you didn't. You, you didn't. I just... Uh, I, so, I wasn't watching. So, Mike, it's up to you for the Bismarck. All right. Uh, he's going to go his full 12 inches and make a turn to port. Ooh. I take it, Jim, if we hit the edge of the table, we'll be kind of like sliding everything back then. I hadn't thought about it. I'd rather he didn't. <laughs> But it's okay. I reckon so. I reckon so. We'll have to. Okay. I, oh, you know what? I can grab all of you. Never mind. I can do it. Yeah. Right, right. Because we kind of talked about that Saturday night yeah, after I can, we were I done can, playing I can about what would happen. I can, I can grab a lot of you. Yes, give me your beam. Let me smack you harder. That's a beam shot over here, isn't it? Of course, it also unmasks off all four of my turrets. That is also true. And it's your shot first. I have Velker still got another move. Oh, that's right. Duh. The hood. Moves 12. Raz moves 6. Well, Porter, starboard? Starboard. Didn't have to turn that far, but yeah, there it is. All right. Mike, you're up. All right. We will fire all four guns at the hood. All the many guns at the hood. Well, there you go. I have no doubt on range. What's the range of your secondaries, Mike? Uh... Secondary seventeen, so thirty-four inches. Oh yeah, you're still. You're still yeah. Up. I do, however, have to check my. I forgot to bring in my range band modifiers. I think by now I'd have as many times as I played this. You'd think I'd have this memorized, but I don't. There it is. It's 40 and 60, so yeah, you're still at extreme range. 
All right, Velker, target on the hood is a four or a five. The target, I believe, is a four. Four. That's a six. Yeah, there's that six again. And the Bismarck, she's throwing a lot of lead downstream, but uh, it's a total of eight dice. Am I right? Yep. Eight dice for six. Yes, eight dice. Eight dice for sixes. Is it six still? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh, a bunch of misses there. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Just a lot of splashing around, I reckon. Yep. So that's uh, there. Felker, you get a shot. What do you want? Do the hood on the Bismarck. What turrets? You have to tell me. A and B. True. Target is a four on the Bismarck or a five? Is it a four? A uh, four, I think. Yes, four. And this is the hood, right? Yeah. So you're going to roll four dice. That is a beam shot, if ever I've seen one. So, um, I know we know the range is good. He's not, so it's plus two for the range, which would be a six, but a five. So, four dice for fives? Four dice, because that's what you're throwing, hoodie? Yep, four for five. Uh -oh. Wow. That's, that's a little saucy. That hurts. Armor at extreme range, that's a plus one. Uh, Do the sixes give me anything? Okay, no, the sixes, the sixes only matter in damage. Mm -hmm. um, but that's three hits. That's going to be nine dice. Armor piercing and long range. So six, five, four. Nine dice for fours. Four hit, one, two, three, four hits, plus one six. Let's do that six. That's a crit. Let's go to the location. Ow. Let's go to location on the crit. 2d6, please. Plus two. Double six, come on. Seven. A seven, that is an engine hit. Engine. So we, uh, we check out the old rule book. Ooh. So you gotta roll another one d six. It looks like for engine. Now you gotta roll. Yeah, exactly right. You gotta roll one d six. Four. Go over here and you see uh, that props damage, damage from... minus two speed. Yeah. And that's so. Here's the deal. That's gonna so that's gonna be a total of five damage. It kills one crew. And he's got minus two speeds until he can do damage repair in the end phase. That's minus four total speed. No, it's just minus two speed. But is, are we doubling everything? Oh, that's true. Everything is doubled. Yep. So that's minus four speed. That's right. Thank you. So five damage and one to the crew. That was a lot. That was a big boom. Mm-hmm. So a total of six. I wonder if I shouldn't just count these down. That might not be more efficient, but we'll go from there. And then... We'll do a slash if you want to, Jim. Yeah. Put your... Uh, put 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 the uh, put the max damage that you can take on the left, and then on the right, just keep adding it up. Well, because you've also got the skeleton crew issue. That's my concern. You've got well, then, then, then put the... Yeah, put the, put the skeleton crew on the left, the max on the right, or yeah, in the middle, and then on the right, your... put your current... Your, your, your current total. What are your two damage numbers, Mike? Yeah. Um, skeleton crew is 14, and and total is 43. 43, 14? Cool. Yes. And what is your crew number? Uh, 84 and 28. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you okay there, Jim? Yep, I'm good. I went in and out because I had to hit the 8 key. <laughs> I figured it was something like that. So yeah, the uh, yeah the Bismarck ain't gonna be taken down so easy. Holy cow! But you do have that damage from that. Wow! So good shot from the hood. Yes. Yeah. Oigen. Uh, yeah, Oigen will take a shot at Hood. Okay. I think he can. Why 
Why you bleed? Yep. And XY guy. turrets. Yep. XY turrets. Range? I'm sorry? What's their range? Oh. Uh, 3774. Ooh. I gotta check that. Barely. Actually, gotta be a little cautious with this one. Wow. By 0.7 of an inch. But a hit nonetheless. Target on the hood, Velker. Four. So you got two guns in range, minus two, six. Two dice for six. And one hit. Got him again, my goodness. Uh, and again, this is long range, not armor piercing. Hood armor is four, correct, Falker? Mm -hmm. no, no, it's five. So one die for six. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, wait. It's uh, it's one die for four. Sorry, because you're at long range. I got five. That's a hit. Yeah. One sure. point. Stop. Pew. That's a pew. Bad. Stop. No. Stop. Stop it. All right. Get some help. You want a shot from the whales? Yes. All right. Okay, I'm asking. Who is it firing at? <laughs> I didn't think that that was exactly this one. A's and B's? Yep. Is that being shot? A's and B's on the Bismarck. The A's and B's on the whales are... 78. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was struck by that before. Yeah, we, we got the super green. No question. Target on the Bismarck is... Four. Four. Long range, six. Not a beam shot. Lame. Well, you know what? How do they define beam shot? I know what I think it is in my head. Curious. Yeah, I'd be. I would think that would be a beam shot. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is because you're in that arc. Um, all yeah. Right, so therefore, you've got six dice for fives. I'm surprised on like the uh, on the gunnery chart you don't use that to try and define if you have a beam shot true you know what i'm saying you, you can lay that card sure there beside and just kind of get yourself a rough measurement that hey if if Sorry. going from here you know yeah i would say that was definitely inside oh, the yeah. arc there oh yeah yeah i mean i i thought it was that's without I think even that, that. I, think that is I, I would just yeah i think you're right about that yeah so uh velker six dice for five Well, if you hit him, he'll hit. It's Velker. Oh, yeah. You, uh, oh, yeah. That's better than I ever. Three hits. That was from the whales. Uh, three hits. Their armor piercing. So that's going to be six dice at range. So your armor is six. So it's going to be six dice for fours. Hits two are possible critical. Re roll two dice. No crits. That was a good shit. That was unfortunate. But that is another tick of damage. Another actually three ticks. Yeah. Alright, All right. yeah, well she's she is kinda of parked in the way of the Oigan, so like a mother hen. The, um, okay, so Mike, you now have a chance. What is your command roll? What is your command rating? Uh, uh, where do I see that at? I don't it's, see command rating. It's just command. Yeah, I don't see it. That's what I'm saying. On Bismarck? Yep. Hang on. Yeah, length, to place, displacement, speed, crew, turning target, crew, damage, armor, speed, oh, and service, right. and special that's right, traits. That's right, that's right. They set this up with a default command. That's right. I knew that. The devil is the matter with me. 
four. Everybody's a four. All commands are fours, which is considered according to victory at sea. Military grade. So we take a look again at the repairs, which take place in the end phase. Come on. Here we are. Yeah. Right. You need a 5 or a 6 on 1d6. Two. Nope. So your speed rating is four, is minus... I, I did it wrong, didn't I? Yep, it's minus Two. 4. It's minus 4. It's doubled. Well, yeah. Yeah. So your speed is minus 4. So the Bismarck is slowed down a little bit until she can get that fixed. All right, initiatives. Please. Five. Eight. No. Eight. Mike, you're up. We can't All right. Hold. Yep. Oigen. We'll move Oigen first. Uh, um, are you going to move in such a way that I should probably move everybody right now? Um, I'm going to turn to starboard again. Okay. Yeah, you might want to go ahead and shuffle us all back some, just to give us some some playing room. Yeah, that should work. There you go. We know Velker's not going to go backwards, so. <laughs> you know me. Who you that... think I am? A pod? An alien? <laughs> he's, 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 riding, he's riding seahorses into battle. Let's just, let's that, just be it. honest he's, he's about in. this, right? I am my, the dolphin's grace. Yeah, I'm that's coming right. for your it's... feet. All right, the organ's up with a speed of? Uh, 14 total. That is right. affirmative. Yep. Takes a two point turn. There you yep. go. Just had gone too far with it. Here we go. Elker. My turn. Oh, no. uh, Prince of Wales is going to zoom. The Prince of Wales, I, I really do kind of want to play the Johnny Horton song now because he's definitely got a plan. All right, that was the Prince of Wales, Mike, for the Bismarck. All right, and I'm down to eight speed altogether. Was that right? Six, 12 minus four, eight. Yep. Eight. Mm -hmm. All right. You turning? Yep. Port or starboard? Port. I do like the tabletop simulator infinitely disposable turning templates. Oh boy. Okay, Velker. Hood. The hood. Here comes the hood. Yeah. And I will make a port turn. I've got it. Trust me, I'm in control. <laughs> Only so far? Yep. Huh? There's it. A perfect beam shot. Beam shot. That's you, Mike. Who shoots? All right, shooting hood. All eight, all four turrets. 
from the uh, Bismarck? Yes. You have more than Oh, I see what you mean. I keep forgetting. I'm, thinking, I'm always thinking in terms of dice. Eight dice. And I'm inside that 60-inch range now. Oh, yeah, you are. So it takes it to a minus one. Uh, but his target is... His target is... His target is... Four, Four plus, plus, I think. So you need five. It? Now you're rolling eight dice for fives. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Two hits. That could have been scarier. No doubt about it. Uh, two hits. So that's going to be six dice. Armor piercing, which gives you that plus one. It's also a plus one still for the range. So the armor on the hood is five. Yep. So it's five, four, three. Six dice for threes. Oh, look at that. Oh, three crits. Oh, 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 my, oh, boy, four oh, hits oh, and three oh, crits. Oh, oh, mercy sakes alive. So four, four hits, three crits. So re please reroll the three sixes. Those are three crits. One. Three. Oh, Ow. that's right. That's three. Ow, Those stop. are three crits. No, stop. No, no. <laughs> Invasive. Invasive. Okay. First crit, please. 2d6. Can I do evasive? Not yet. You missed it. 2d6. Seven. That is a engine hit. 1d6. One D, one D Five. No. Fuel systems. Ooh, fuel system ruptured. That's an additional two damage, so he's to six. He loses two crew, and he has minus three speed, and he has a fire. Oh, no! Not fire. Fire is not good, so I'm going to mark that. So that is a total of six damage, two crew. Let's just hope it doesn't reach the powder room. <laughs> Just remember, Velker, even today, fire is the worst thing on a ship. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Worst thing I ever heard when I was on a ship, though, was when they called flooding one deck above you, and we were already above the uh, the water line. Oh, boy. And we were in port pierside. Yeah, that's like that situation. Where was that? That they had that incredible fire. I can't believe that. And you have... Yeah, the one. Bonham Richard. Yeah, that is it. All right, so that was the first crit. Second crit. 2d6, right? Correct. That's Nine. a weapon. That's a weapon. Weapon. Hit. You what? are so mean. 1d6. Four. Four. Secondary weapon Fire damage. control. No, you're on weapons. Oh, yep. I'm yep. sorry. I was looking at Secondary weapon sorry. damage. You get two extra damage. No crew. Second, all secondary weapons are at minus one attack die. So, we got to do an additional plus two damage. Oh, that's the Bismarck. That's not what I do. Yeah, don't be beating up on the Bismarck. Yet. And it's minus, is it minus two or one, Mike? On the, On the crew? No, no, no. He gets Secondaries. Oh. Uh, minus one or two. Minus one. Minus, minus one. one. Minus one AD. Yep, no crew. Yep. Yes. They're minus one attack die, not the damage. They still do that. Okay. All right. And now your final crit. Eight. It's going to be another engine. Engine. Hit. No, I'm sorry, seven. But yeah. It's an engine. But it's still an engine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1d6. You thought one. one four equal eight. Engine turbine damage. Another minus one to speed. Damage, uh, plus one damage to. And also another one to crew. I have to check cumulative effects. It's been yeah. Actually, Velker, I thought the one rolled up a five at first. That's. Are you sure I kind of glanced up. I, yeah, I'm just not good at seeing all the time. Oh, we all do that. And that's minus eight, actually. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so that's a lot of bad stuff, what just happened to the hood. Yeah, hood had a bad day. That was a definite bad day. Speed is minus eight. He can't move. He, he, he literally cannot move. I'm what's his, what's his regular speed? Six. No. Well, you've doubled that though, Velker, right? Oh. It's twelve. Remember? Oh, I wasn't sure that if it was an actual. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's, that's no. I've, I'm, I'm doing what you told me to do. I got to double everything, right? Uh -huh. The, uh, <laughs> who's, who's, who's bad at math now? Aha! Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can move four inches. Fear me. You're so. My turn. Your dad, uh, e either your dad or me, are easily four times your age. Either one of us are. <laughs> We at least have excuses. We we at least have reasons. Yeah, we have excuses for our senility. Um, senility. Senility. Uh, all right. So we won't one? even get into being married for twenty plus years. There you go. <laughs> which one are you giving them? What you, I'm telling mom. What you uh, what you giving them? The A B. Yep, A B. Right. What, what was that measuring tool doing? Oh, I didn't look at the measurement. I have okay. no idea. Oh, you're just showing me where it was? Yeah. All right. Uh, you know it's in range. It's it's fine. I know. I, I, so you know very well it's in range. So that's the A and the B. That's four dice on the Bismarck's target number of four. That's four dice on the Bismarck's target number of four, right? But as... Uh, now, I do have to check because I think you two are now... Yeah. So that's only a minus one. So... So it's five, and it's a beam shot. So back down to four. So that's this that the beam shot is actually pretty nasty because that now gives you a four d six looking for fours. Yeah. That's that's almost statistically exactly right. Uh, so that with uh, the, with the hoods guns. With the hoods guns, that's six. Their armor piercing. It is still long range. That's plus one, plus one. Armor six. That's fours. Six d six. Looking for fours. Four hits and a crit. Let's see that crit. No, mm -mm. you didn't get it yet, bud. And you don't get it. So four damage <laughs> takes the Bismarck into double digits. All right, Mike, the Oigen want to shoot at somebody? Oigen will take a shot at Hood also. Also at the Hood, huh? It's the closest. Uh, yeah, I think that's the closest one I've got right all now. All barrels. And if she can, I'm not sure if the front ones have well, arc got... or not. Oh, you're talking about your ABs? Yeah. If my ABs do, then yes, all four. No, those ABs aren't going to have arc. Okay, I'm fine with that. Then just the. Now I can split my fire, though, right? Nope, only secondaries and AA can split. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the X, Y. Right, Rear well, guns. I'm always looking at the wrong stuff. Uh, I want to look at the Oigen. Yes. The X, Y's and the Oigen have a range of 74 inches, one apiece. We'll have a look at this shot. In range, but that's that minus two. His target is... Four, I believe. His target is four, yep. So that's 2d6 for 6. Yes. And we got one hit. That's going to be 1d6 for 3. A crit? Wow. That's stupid! Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. That's... <laughs> roll the roll the one d six to see if that crit is actually a crit. Of course, it's going to. Be. Yep. You think? You think? Is that certain? Nah, I'm not that good tonight. Ah, Two. Reverse psychology wins again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that. All right, so that's that. Um, now the the Prince of Wales. Beam in the Prince of Gems. Oh, he's gonna beam the way. Oh. 
So the A's and the B's. All right, let's look at the whales. Booker, is it your bedtime yet? It's a school night. It's not my bedtime. <laughs> That's nine o'clock central. That's okay. That's I still have half an hour. So that's uh, you got thirty. You got thirty-five minutes. Yeah. Wow. So that's uh, that's that long-range shot. The Oregon is presenting a beam. I don't think there's any question of that. His target is five. Uh, long. That would actually see. Here's the thing. His target is five. That would usually be seven because of range, but because he's presenting beam at six. Mm -hmm. So it's so the Bismarck's an obviously an easier target, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. Sixty-six looking for sixes. Is much weaker than the mm -hmm. I did Managed to land it. Uh, the whale's attack dice. Uh, that's going to be two. What's her armor? We haven't even looked at the uh, armor. Oigen is oh, armor's three plus. Ooh. Yeah. That's, uh, you, you, you can't. The only way you miss Felker is if you roll that, if you roll a one. Oh, time out, time out, time out, time out. You just fired the whales. And no! you roll, yep. Okay. Roll one D6. Oh, yeah. You're, you're... <laughs> Two D6. And what did he, and what does he have to roll to, to have that one. mechanical problem? He's got to roll another That's one. what I thought. Yep, so that's what I thought. It's two D6 and you just, you hit on anything but a one. Macarino. How many hits can he take? Yeah, what's her numbers, Mike? Uh, da, 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 da. 19 and 6. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. She's a heavy cruiser. She got damage too. And cruise 64, 21. We're sure to remember to do this the next time we play. Just have this preset. This is the way to yeah. do it. You figure stuff out. Cool. Yep, exactly. Because I think I'm going to run one of these. There's going to be a new, another Cyber Wars in November. And I'm going to run a, a bigger one of these. Jutland? Not, no, not that big. <laughs> a part of Guadalcanal, though. Um, ah. A little bit of Guadalcanal. So... Uh, now, that takes us over to the damage phase, and this is where I wanted to look at this. Uh, is there... Right? Oh, okay, so we, sh we do have to um, roll for each one separately, because Velker did have two separate crits. Mike, you did not, and it's your first anyway, so we can check the crit. Actually, he had three... He, he had three crits, right? Right. and But the other one is obvious because he's also got to deal with the fires. But the Bismarck, right. okay. we can see if we can deal with this speed crit. You need a five or a six. Okay. And you five. Need, so your speed is normal now. What about me? What, his, that was his because he gets to go first anyway. Uh, fire. Let me just see this. You said Guadalcanal. You got some interest in the chat there. Oh, boy. <laughs> I caused trouble. All right, so, Velker, you've got three critical hits on the hood. Um, you've got the, the one on the secondaries. You've also got the two that have reduced your speed. They were separately, and we'll have to remember that for, for going forward, um, the, the damage to your they were the damage to your props and to the fuel system rupture. So you've got a choice. You can try to deal with the secondaries, the fuel system rupture, or the props. Now, if you're going to do the fuel system rupture, that's the minus three speed. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Or you can deal with the secondary weapons. But you want to do the fuel system rupture? Yes. Okay, you need a five or six. Yes! All right, so that was a minus three off your speed, so that's good. 
you get rid of that, so now you're down to only a speed loss of two. Now you have to deal with the fire. Um, in I order to... No, that, well, it, that did cause a fire, but fires, as Mike pointed out, are a unique problem at sea. Uh, you need to roll a three or better to put out the fire. You do. That fire continues and that costs you two crew. Ow! Jeez! How many crew do I have left? Well, go to the hood and why don't you give me those numbers since we can use them right now. The hood has... Um... 13. Well, what, how much... What's its two no. damage? What's the 41. two damage numbers? What are its two damage numbers? 41 and 13. 41, 13. And what are its crew numbers? Crew numbers... 1,470. No, 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 no. You're looking at the wrong stuff. Nothing's 1,000. Uh, it's up right underneath the damage. Yeah, your crew, uh, above is, your your weapon. crew is 5919. Oh, okay. Sorry. There's, there's a crew at the bottom right. That's how many people actually were, yeah. Right. It's 1,477. 19, okay. So many numbers. Yep. Okay. So that's it. That settles it. Initiative, please. Nine also. Again. Yes. Oker's got it. You're up, no. You're up first, Mike. All right. We'll go with uh, Bismarck. I got my full speed back, correct? Correct, you do. So we will be making a turn to port. Eleanor. Hey, Tommy. Hey, everybody. Hey, you know what? Hey, everybody. Good to see you. I gather, Ron, that you were in school. That's why you did not heed our invitation. All right, Del uh, Belker. Oh, my turn. <laughs> you're oh. not your turn. Now you're a pirate, huh? Lifting up my neck and the sea. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Move this one. I can't move that far. All right, and now I'm going to turn to four. You have a turn of two? One. Just one. Yeah. I'm trying to angle it. I get it. Right, that'll work. Got it. There's me. Eugen? All right. Eugen's be, will be making a turn to starboard. Mm -hmm. And... Actually, I think I made a mistake with Bismarck. I think I moved him 14 inches altogether instead of 12. Go back and look at that. You want to just eat two? You want to eat just two inches backwards? Yeah. You got it, Jim, or you want me to go get it? I got it. Okay. Hello. Ron. Ron. Hello. How's the game going? <laughs> Hey, princess. They're picking on Pentoigan again. Yeah, you can grab the He's organ if you Total want. War Warhammer 2. Yeah, that's what you were no, doing. No, I was, that was, that was, uh, paused so I could go to school. Yeah. Is school treating you well? Uh, my school's not treating me too well. It freaking hurts my leg. <laughs> well, that's not our fault. No, that isn't. So you're good with the organ, Mike? Yep, I'm good with the Oigan. All right, Prince of Wales. He's moving his great 10 inches. Zoom. Actually, he's going to go the 15. Ooh, saucy. Remember, that's a minus one to your attack. Yep. Okay. 
Because remember, you couldn't hit Bozo the Clown over there. I'm turning. All right. You got it there? Yep. It's your call as to who shoots first, fucker. Start with the hood. Shooting at the Bismarck? Yep. Okay, that's going to be some spoopy range, but you're going with your A's and your B's, right? Yep. Down there, we're playing tabletop simulator. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's... he's no. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's totally isn't. tattling. I was skulking. He's definitely he's skulking. He's skulking about. You want to throw your secondaries into the mix? Yes. I will, except one of them's out because he damaged my weapons. You did, that's true. So how's Victor at sea working with this? I think it's pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like it. It's good. I like it. Velcro doesn't like the critical hit side of it too much. Yeah, especially when you drop three critical hits on the hood. Yeah, about that. How would you like it? <laughs> nice. Well, I'm about to find out, I suspect. So, right. Unfortunately, I didn't destroy her. Incorrect. So you're gonna you're gonna dump the house on the yes okay the hood's gonna dump the house over here. There's gonna be a blammo. You hope that is your hope. Uh, no, it's going to be a blammo. Okay, you're actually out of range for your secondaries. I meant what I said, and I said what the meant. But I can shoot torpedoes at him. Now you'd have to have called that, but you didn't. So. Uh, but well, darn. Actually, no, you can't. That's twenty inch range. That'd be out of range. But I can shoot it prematurely, right? No. No? No. Remember, the way torpedoes work, you call the shot, we measure the shot. If you're in range and arc, I just stick a torpedo next to his ship. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's torpe and, torpe yeah. Torpe oh. torpedo range in this game is nasty. Don't get into it unless yeah. you're ready to deal with it. And, oh, yeah. And, Velker, you're not... Um, oh, yeah. Well, only if you have a forward torpedo would you have arc. He does, and he does. So. A forward one? Yeah. No, he's got port and starboard. No, he doesn't port have forward. No forward. Look at the hood. What? What? Look where they show port starboard. What? I, I could have sworn. So you can do math, but you can't read. No, he can't do geometry. He can do algebra. Oh, right? he's great at algebra. I yeah, but he. Algebra. I don't know what you're talking about. You do very well. Stop it! Don't you sell yourself no, short? I really don't. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> So you are now outside of extreme range. So this is a straight shot at the Bismarck, which is a four. Uh, you're firing your A's and your B's. A's and B's, which are... That's four dice. That's going to be four dice for threes, because that's a profile shot. What are you doing with the Jurgen all the way over here? Well, they've only taken one shot at her so far. And it was a long ranger too. Uh, three, nine. nine dice. You lose what? plunging fire, but Oik. you keep you. But you keep AP. So that's nine. We're getting hit hood twice though in oh, return. Yeah. Sorry, Jim. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So that's nine. <laughs> nice deal. That is nine dice. What's her armor? Yep, nine dice for fives. Oh man. Three crits. Potential. Potential. Three hits. Three now potentials. Three no, you roll three dice. Come on. One of them is a crit. So that's three damage. Roll your crit. Five. That's crew. Crew. One die. Hull breach. That's oh. nasty. That's two, oh. that's two damage, two damage. And five crew. A bunch of guys just got yep. sucked out to sea. Holy cow. So that's a total of five damage. The one thing I do like about this game, it was easy for me to teach my kids when I when I first got it. I used my access and eyes miniatures, kind of like what you guys are doing here. Not kind of yep. like it, exactly like it. <laughs> His, these are the Axis and Allies minis, so, mm. as you well know. So, all right, that's where the so the Bismarck is getting. Ooh, she's getting down there. Holy cow! Yep. Uh, um, running. Yeah. So there's that. So who I, I can imagine who you're shooting, Mike. Yep, Hood. All four really? turrets, really? eight guns. That's the whales, man. 
So yeah, you too are not in the extreme range. So you just got to go to the target number on the hood, which is a four, interestingly enough. The Bismarck is going to be firing. Uh, yeah, eight dice for fours. Dice. Nice shot. That is 12 dice against the hood's armor of five. You're no longer getting... You have AP, though. One, two, three, four, five with two crits. Is that is that right? I mean, it, no, no, remember, because you've got... Give me a second. Don't do don't be running ahead of me. i got to do math here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the, hood, the armor is five, but it drops because you've got APs, so it's fours. One, two, three, One, two. four, five, six hits. Six hits, two of them possible crits, so re-roll for that. Uh, roll one at a time or no, both at the same time? Two D6. Ammo explosion. Ammo explosion. Stop it. And one, uh, one so that's, crit. So that's six hits, one crit, roll the crit. Six. Again, the engine he hits. You jerk! <laughs> I just fixed those. Nice. Play Six. <laughs> Engines disabled. Engines disabled. Ooh. What? Oh. I can't budge. Damage three, so nine. Three to the crew, speed zero, no special actions, and your target score drops by one. So I got to deal with these in turn. Nine damage, three crew. Nice wow, that shot, bad. Mike. That was that was really bad. No. Awesome shot. Yeah. Hey, Ron. Just FYI for you, we whatever your range is on your on your card there, double it. We're doubling ranges. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah. So so. You, so yours says 37, so you've actually got 74 range. So um, both ships should be well within your range right now, I, I believe. Whales for sure. I'm pretty sure Hood is too. Can I ask why we're doing that? Because I want I wanted to keep the the one 1200 scale ships. Oh, okay. Be a long list of crits. Okay, so he any but he can fix that. Alright, so that was the Bismarck on the hood. What does the Prince of Wales want to do? Sure. Yeah, it's on his prize. It's a beam shot for sure. That is that sucker is gonna be it's still inside, so this is straight up, so that's a four. The whales is firing six dice. Six dice for threes. Four hits. That's exactly statistical. Four hits. Four. <laughs> four target hits. Um, and now her armor is a six, but you've got penetration. And you are rolling 12 dice for five or six. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ouch. 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 Oh, Ouch. One, two, three, four, five. Came the hammer. Holy. Do you understand the amount of bookkeep? Wait a minute. You understand the amount of bookkeeping I'm going to have to do? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, five hits, hey, five potential crits. Go. You, you should be fine with bookkeeping. You're city administrator. Five, three he crits, likes it. Five hits, three crits. Let me deal with the hits first, okay? I'm going to do that. Let me just get him off How my plate. How do you like it now, Ed? I don't think he does. I do not think he does. First one, please. 2d6. Fucker. Two D six. Don't you want your crits? Oh yes, I do. Eight. Engines. Engines. One D six. 
Oh boy. He returns the favor. <laughs> Engines disabled. Wow. <laughs> That's not a good exchange. That, uneven exchange. Uneven exchange. Three, three. Give me a second. I gotta mark all this. Yes. So now the Bismarck and the Hood are floating. Are, are floating. Slapping are near floating wrecks. All right. And her targeting is three. Not that anybody else gets to shoot at her this turn. Second crit, where well, is it? Second, uh, second crit, where is it? Uh, let's see. Oh, I have to roll Four plus five, nine. Weapons. Weapons. There's a bad one in here. One D six. Oh yeah, there is. One. Four. Four weapons. Secondary weapons. Secondary. All secondaries lose one AD and two additional damage. Next hit cripples the Bismarck. Oh wow! We I mean, are that that yep. close already. Yep. Wow. Yep. Ooh. Next hit cripples the Bismarck, but I also have to mark down. All secondaries minus one. Okay, is that right? Did I do that right? Yep, I did. Velker, last crit. Yes. That's another weapon hit. One d six. <laughs> this is where you want the six. There it is. That's there it is. That's a magazine Amazing. explosion. No weapons can fire for 1d3 turns. 1d6 fire start. So, oh. for, yeah. she's crippled that... already. So, four damage, yep. six crew. So, should I just roll a d6? Hang on a second. I gotta work through this. You do that. <laughs> four damage. The crew is fine, but the ship is now crippled. Now, uh, she can't roll 1d6, divide it. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hey. Then, yep. Yeah. Hey, Jim, real quick, too. When Prince of Wales fired that last time, did she roll two ones? Or... I'll have to take a look. She might have to. I'm, I'll have to take a look. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Looks like Sorry, I was just thinking about that one. Yep. yep. We'll do yes, that. it did. We'll definitely take a look at that when we get there. Good point. Thank you. Uh, so now, first thing you got to do is let's figure out how many of how, he can't fire four. Roll one die. Him or me? That's him. Got it. So that's three three turns. You may not fire any weapons for two turns. He turns. Critical hit. And a half. Also, roll one d six. How many fires? Mm-hmm. Five, five. Five. Wow. Woo! Holy cow. Ten crew. Yeah, the, well, it's, yeah, he's got it, and he's got to roll after each of them. That's the crazy part. Nice. Oh, yeah. I can't do that, Ron. What are you doing, man? That's totally illegal. It's like, uh... <laughs> Smack his hand. I will. Sorry. I'm, I'm so totally going to do something. All right, let's talk about being <laughs> We've never gotten there. <laughs> what does it mean to be crippled? <clears throat> Your turning is reduced to one point. That's fine. Your speed is permanently halved. Halved. In addition, the AD of all your secondary and aircraft weapons are halved. Now, we now must go through each main gun turret and each special trait on a four- the turret or trait is destroyed. For better, I should say. So let's start with your turrets, Mike. Your A turret. Roll one die. Four. 
destroyed. Your B turret. Good. Your is your X? Yes, destroyed. Okay. And your Y. And destroyed. So I'm down to one turret. Yep. Oh my god. And what are your traits? Yep. Uh the only one that we're using or two that we're using is radar and torpedo belt. Alright, so roll for your torpedo belt. Radar doesn't matter. And it's destroyed. Well, it looks like a repeat of last week, huh? Those 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 crits are nasty. All right, so she can't. So that that that's all, I guess. Uh, the Oigan gets to go. Uh, I have to check for those bad gunners. Oh, good point. Now, the one thing I did want to check is whether you have to check for each or just for one. I think it's just because you rolled a one. Nope, it's each one. So you rolled two? Yep. Is that correct? So roll 2d6. Oh! That's just a couple bullets there. Good point. Eugen fires. Ryan, you want to do something here? Yeah, I'll do it. I guess AB, I guess it's all its main batteries. I... Mm -hmm. At? The whales or the the whales or the hood? We'll go whales. All right, so that's at the minus one range. I don't think there's any question that you're going to be able to hit it. What's the what is the profile of the whale? Well, the first question I'm going to ask is that a beam shot on the whales? I don't think it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, neat. I didn't know I could do that. Kind of happy. About What's that? That it just put this over this. That is not. Oh, pretty cool. You want to check that for me, Ron, if that's a beam shot? Just come over. Just draw the line from this arc over to where you're at. Center. Yeah, I don't think so. Oof. Ah, that actually is. Yeah, yeah, I think it is too. Interesting. Barely, but it is. Yeah. So, uh, Oigan to the whales on a beam shot. Target of the whales is four plus beam shot. Beam shot three, but range plus two, so five. Pretty sure this is going to be two d six for fives, right? 2d6 for fives. Wow. Holy cow. All right. Armor on the whales. Suddenly bring it. Hot hand. Hot hand, folks. Hot hand. Armor on the whales <laughs> is a six plus. Uh, this is. Do you got armor piercing on the Oigan? No, you don't. That's right. No, you don't. No, I don't. But it is plunging, so 2d6, 5. Uh, so that's 2d6 for 5s to hit. Or to damage, I should say. No. Hits it, don't damage it. All right, that's right, it. Duplicate. Bounces off. Velker, it's up to you. Who wants to? Go, who do you want to go first for uh, damage control? Uh, I don't think it matters. Let's, but Let's give the Bismarck. Please. Bismarck, you want to do your thing? So you've got two things to deal with, your damage and your fire. What have you got? You can try to repair your secondaries. You can try to repair your weapons. Uh, yeah, that would be it. Oh, and you've also got a speed of zero. So you've got those right. three crits to pick from. And I can only do one or two? Only one. Did you say? Only one. 
All right. Oh, what do you think, Ron? Engines or weapons? Uh, I was thinking engines. Try to get yourself <laughs> moving. Yeah. You also All right, we'll go with engine. All right, you're going to go for that speed zero target minus one. Go ahead. Six. You got it. Yep. So at least your speed is no longer zero and your target is not minus one. Now you got to fight some fires. Why don't you roll? Five. It's 5d6. You need, uh, you need, is it threes? Because your command is four. Four. And I think you need sevens to put out fires. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So you're going to need five dice, threes or better, put out these fires. One, two, three, four. So four of the five are out. All right, so you'll have one fire left, but that still does kill two crew. Yeah. Man, the base mark is good crew. Yeah, they did their job well enough for sure. All right. Got four of the five fires, and you've got the engine working again. Yep. That's that's not a bad point. All right. I don't think we had any on the Oigan, right? No, we don't. Uh, on the hood, what do you want to work on? You've got the two layers of damage. Uh, actually, you've just got the speed. The All your sec. You're gonna do. You're gonna try to deal. With, you've got. Oh, you want to do with the same thing he's got. That speed zero target score? Yeah. All right. Same roll he did. Five or six. Nope. Now you got to put... So you're stuck at speed zero. Yep. Um, fire. And now you got to put out... You got one fire, so you want to put that... Uh, so you need a three or better. She ain't going nowhere. But at least I'm not on fire anymore. But at least you're what not on stop fire. I'm gonna roll thing. I'm just gonna stand there. And... I, I guess. Um... Gonna roll the ship in the water. <laughs> <laughs> barrel roll. Barrel roll. Uh, initiative, please. Who wants to roll two d sixes? Go ahead, Ron. Roll two d six for us. So we got it. Who do you guys want to go first? Can be Velker or it can be you. Um, we probably want to go first, don't we, Ron? Well, I think it's simultaneous, isn't it? Mm -mm. So no, no. Well, in ter well, in terms of the results, yeah, it's simultaneous, but fire isn't. Or fire is. I take it back. Yeah, it's just you get to see what the other side does. No. Shit. Yeah, so let the other side go first. All right, Velker. Obviously, you can't move the hood. So the Prince of Wales will move. And he's going to turn to port. Got a key? Got a turning key? Not sure where it is. rid of that for you looks like it could be my last turn well it's i you know you got an extra minute or two it's not going to be very long before this comes to a decision anyway yeah so uh the bismarck can't move so the oigan or can the bismarck move the bismarck can move, it can but, move. It have, but it have speed so which one do you want to move uh, i'm gonna do your again the oigan moves all right But she speeds. And remember to double it. So yeah, she's got fourteen. Now, Victor, at see, turning wise, it's at the before, you have to move at least. Or... You have to move half. You have to move half your declared speed before turning. All right. So I'm going to move eight. So up four. 
And you want to turn to port or starboard? Going to port. What you're gonna want to do is this. Ah, okay. And then I'll get rid of it. Oh, well, that's exactly what I want. So. Perfect. There you go. I discovered the ability to just delete them. <laughs> Bismarck is okay. now a canoe, a new artificial reef. <laughs> Yeah, that's how fires... This murky may go. Yeah, fires can be really, really nasty if you don't deal with them. Yeah, Bismarck, you're up. Yeah. What's that, Ron? Oh, Bismarck's yeah, up? Go. Bismarck's yeah. up, yeah, because the, the hood can't move. All right. And I don't have to take my full movement, right? Mm-mm. Sure don't. I can only... I... In that case, I'm only going to go... Out there. <laughs> yeah, the minimum you must move is two inches. If you can. Yeah, I move three. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, if you can. Obviously, if you can't, what are you going to do? All right. Drift uh, two inches sideways. <laughs> you guys, yeah. Yeah. The swells get you. Uh, you guys get to declare fire. Obviously, the Bismarck can't shoot. Well, she can't. Oh, no, that's right. She can't shoot at all. All right. All right. All right. Friends, just going to shoot at the whales. Boygan. Boygan on the whales. Yep. The whole Shamir, huh? That's inside the minus two, but outside the minus one. Very good. Uh, ergo, now, the whales, yeah, she's in good shape. That's a beam shot, though. Deal, deal, she has a target number of four, three, two dice for three. Oh, wait, she's also got the minus one, so it's a wash. Two dice for four. Hit. So that's going to be one die. Uh, you do not have armor piercing, but that is still a plunging shot. On the whales, which has an armor of six, so f one die for five. Dang it, just bouncing off of her. Yeah, Velker, you got two shots, go for them. That's that's gonna be snug, yeah. How close are you? Actually, Belker, why don't you use the hood first against Bismarck? If you finish her off, then you can use, you can use the rest Prince of the Wales against Oigan. Right. Good point. I'll a use the nobody can shoot at you. Right. So where what is the hood? I'm just saying, I mean that Yeah, the secondaries would... don't matter, the crew don't matter, yeah. So she's just straight up. Here we go. Uh that is Ooh, that's close range, so everything is as it is. Bismarck's. Oh, Belker, sorry. We got to quit. It's, it's after 9 o'clock your time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Belker's not amused by that suggestion. He does not. Oh, that's right. You, you rolled that off. You rolled that sucker off. So the hood, the hood's, re... this could be the hood's revenge right here. La revanche. La revanche. Uh, that's going to be four dice, armor piercing, with a profile shot on her ship so that's four dice four dice for i think four dice is that what you got no that's it the hood oh that's right no because you're firing just your a's and your b's right 
No, your forwards are only four. It's the uh, it's the whales that has the six. Yeah, because if you turn to side, then you get all eight. That's what he's been firing at you. Uh, yeah, four dice for uh, four dice for threes. Two hits. Any effect on her? So her armor remains a six. You do have armor piercing. And you're throwing six dice. Six dice for five or six. Oh boy. And it is. 2d6. Weapon. Roll. 1d6. Another magazine explosion. Magazine. <laughs> five, six. It may, it may have just finished her off. Five more? I don't know. No. Not quite. She's no. a 37. Five more. Five more. Yeah, five more she's done. Those fires. The crew just takes another five. Uh, takes one, six on the crew. She takes six. Okay. Three. Yes. Okay. So, and damage was four, not five. Oh, okay. Right? So I got it backwards. Got it. But yeah. he. But the original no damage counts too. Right. Yes. Yes. So um, now you roll. Now you have to roll the one d six to add on how long he can no longer shoot. Two more turns. And then fires for 1d6. And 1d6 more fires. Fire. Fire! Oh boy. Fire. My robot is coming back to town saying hey. fire on everything. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So that robot is back. That robot is angry. Ask Eleanor. Fire. So the question is... Oh, God. Fire everywhere. Fire! <laughs> so who do you want the Prince of Wales to fire on, potentially knowing that you are only a scant six damage from sinking the Bismarck? I'll take a shot. Hey. Again. I mean, the Bismarck can't shoot anyway. That's true. I'll take a shot at the Uygen. Mm -hmm. You'll take a shot at the Uygen? Okay. Uh, hey, real quick, Jen. Jim. Yeah. Has has a quick question. Sure. Um, did you say that all shots had to be declared before any was resolved at the beginning That's, when you were reading the rules? Not, I, not that I, we're going to. I take that by ship. I took that okay. to be by ship. But let's uh, because it's alternating. Remember, you it, yeah. it would, it would I, otherwise I, alternate. Yeah, and I'm not saying that we would change it. Has was just asking, and that's a, and that's I just a good question. To... Let's let's have a look. I I know it is designated. That is correct. Um, but I took that to be, yes, the way the process works, you nominate a ship, nominate targets, check ranges, resolve fire, and resolve damage. So it's by ship. So you do have to say, for example, right now, the Prince of Wales has to declare that it's dumping, you're dumping all your shots into the Oigan? Yes, I'm dumping all of my shots into the Oigan. Okay. Nope, going to be missing. Splash, 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 well, That's going to be your A, B, and your Y, because I think they can all bear. Yep. Range of oh, 70, boy. Range of 78. That's weird. Yeah, and that's inside the only minus one range. The only thing you got going for it is the tar The Eugen is shifty. <sighs> well, it is. It's got a target of five. It's giving you a beam shot, though, which drops it to four, but it's at that middle range bracket, so it takes it back to five. So you are going to be rolling off the Prince of Wales. Holy cats. Ten dice. Ten dice looking for fives. Come on. Oh. Three. That is but, but 
And we know what this is because of the plunging fire and because I think he's got an armor of three. Yep. That's going to be ones. It's going to be basically any... And you didn't roll any ones, right? I did not. There you go. Yes! Check that. Uh, Prince of Wales... You've got three hits, right? Yes. Six dice, everything but a one hits. Five hits. And a potential crit. Let's see if that crit hits. It does. Damage. Where is it? That's crew. 1d6. Oh! Multiple explosions. Really? <laughs> 1d6 extra damage. So that was a total of... 5... 9 damage. So I'm starting there. And damage is not healthy. Uh, yeah, that's that's real bad. Right, now it's got eleven because he already had two damage on him. Oh, good point. <laughs> it's worse for the crew. Yes. Yeah, it is. Because now the crew two d six. No. Eight. Eight crew. Shrapnel flying everywhere. One D six fires. Oh my goodness. One D six fires. Okay. That's that's all she wrote. All right, let's take it. Who uh who had initiative? The Germans did. Germans had initiative. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to try to clear your problems first? Well, that Bismarck seems to be clearing problems. All right, so Bismarck, you've got your secondaries. You've got two sets of bad weapons. Which one do you want to do? Um, we'll go with main turret. Trying to get trying to get one of those two out of there. Yeah, I, I thought I had three of them that were damaged. No, it's you get no the torpedoes the the turrets that are destroyed. You never get back. Gotcha. Th those okay. are gone. The only question gotcha. is, do you okay. get any weapons? And right now, you've got one that's actually going to go down to one turn because you've already gone through a whole turn without it. And then you've got this other one that's fresh with two turns. So if you're going to deal with that, right. you would get rid of that one. And you don't. So. Yeah, I don't. So Now you got to fight the fires. Yep. Two of them, right? Seven fires. Oh, yeah, seven? You have seven fires. And so what you got to do is roll 76. And how many do you put out? Uh, would I need fours? Threes. Threes, one, two, three, four. So you got three fires left, six crew dead. As Velker points out, let's hear it for your crew sticking to their stations. Um, all right, so the Prince Eugen. One fire. You've got a fire. One fire. You need three or better. And it's out. <laughs> no, no fires All right, Velcro, what do you got? On the hood, you've got your speed decrease and your secondaries at minus one AD. I'm going to do the moving thing. Oh, you want to try to fix your moving thing. Got it. 1d6. Don't. No. Wales has nothing. So since the lateness of the hour, we'll do one more turn, and we'll declare a winner at that point just to see what happens. So, two uh, d six for initiative, please. Good, Ron. Oh, not good. Oh, there it is, Velker. Who do you want to go first? German start. Go ahead, Bismarck. 
All right. Let's see. I got what? Full speed back again? Uh, I believe it's half speed. No, you're half speed for the rest of the game because you're. I'm half status. speed. So I just go seven straight up here. All right. That's about all I can do. Ramming I'm speed. Going full 40. So, Velker, your turn. Obviously, the hood can't move. Well, does that Jurgen have to go first? Before that, no, we you alternate. You alternate. I'll first. alternate. That's right. I was gonna take a sharp starboard turn. How do you increase that turning thing? Oh, you want to do a crazy turn? Yeah. Actually, no, I don't. I'm gonna stick right there. No, I'm fine. You're good. I'm okay, right never mind. Uh, Ron, you're up with the Oigan. I'm gonna go seven. I'm really sad I'm missing out on the chat. There's good naval talk for a change. Okay. I did that again. I need to move the Bismarck back one inch. I went seven with her instead of six. No worries. All right, Velker, it's up to you to declare who shoots first. I'll start with the hood. Oh, poor Bismarck. Uh, you're just going to launch the house at her, huh? Yep. Yeah, you are inside. Again, the close range thing. She's at four, but that's a beam shot, so she's at three. Yep. The hood fires. Do, 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 do. Four dice for threes. Armor six, that doesn't change. It is armor piercing. Four hits, you say? Yep. Wow. Twelve dice for five or six. Where is it, please? In the weapons again. Weapons. A four, that's a secondary. Secondary. Damaged, uh, secondary weapons lose one AD. Uh, but that also costs him an additional damage to the three, so that's a total of five damage. He escapes with one eight. Wow! <laughs> we may have to go one more turn. Well, no, I'm going to finish <laughs> Wow. Oh, right, with the... Oh, you're going to... Right, 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 right. So what does that do to his... Okay, so now all his secondaries are at an additional minus one. Because his secondaries are still functioning. So uh, now it is the turn of the Germans to fire, so that's the Eugen. Eugen shooting fire at, the, um, at the whales. At the uh, whales. Okay. Just checking range. Unless we're Ooh. a crazy streak of sixes, I don't think we can get him. Outside the uh, close range belt, so that's a minus one. That's a, a nice starboard shot. What is the whales at? Four. It's going to wash. Yeah, I don't see anything. So 2d6, is it just two? Because that's all it can bear, right, Ron? Your A and your B. Because your XYs can't bear from that, can they? Yeah, they can. 
No, come on. Put that over that. No, it's out here. No, because X, Y can also fire center. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. A, B, X, Y. I'm wrong. Go back Love to your that. world of warships. Remember, right, right. you're firing broadsides. A, B, X, Y. That's all good. So that's four dice. Four dice looking for, I believe, fours. I think we said because it was rain, but it was also washed by the broadside. So four dice looking for fours. Got him three times. Three dice on the armor of the whales is... That's going to be at a plus one. Doesn't have armor piercing. I know that. Six. Five. Four dice looking for fives. All sixes. Happy nice. Ah! Fives. That two hits. That's your first damage. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Wow. It would be nice to get a six in there. Yeah. Belker, the whale shoots. Right, right at the mark. X and Y. Or not X and Y. A, B. Close range. That's the whales. Six dice. Six dice for threes. That's it. Okay, so that's six. Well, that's hit. So you still got to hit him. Still got to damage. I apologize. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's just four. No, you needed threes. Oh, I did need threes. Sorry. Yeah. It's five. Five dice, and the uh, Bismarck has a six armor. Whales. Ten dice for five or six. Yeah, it does. Bye bye. So that sinks the Bismarck. And the hood is done. Uh, all right. Uh, well, we'll finish up the turn just for funs and grins. Because uh, at this point, I know that the Oigan would choose the better part of Valor. Um, That's right. And ramming speed. Ramming speed. I mean, uh, leave. <laughs> so, Hood, you want to try to get rid of your bad stuff? Sure. Your bad speed thing on a five or a six? Nope. nope. You may, yeah, you probably... Yeah. So, it looks... So it looks like she gets towed. Yeah, it gets towed. So, all right. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, who flipped it? <laughs> She's going. I out. did. That's awesome. I did. She rolled. So, once again, Velker is two for two defending the honor of the hood. Um, the general commentary that I'm seeing Bismarck is now a submarine. Yes, I will. I promise I will post. <laughs> hey, Ian, do you have a preference which one you'd like me to post? Uh, Denmark Strait, or uh, what was the other one I put up? Oh my God! Oh, it was uh, uh, Battle of the Plat. River, River Plate, yeah. R River Plate. You have, if you have any preference, I'll go either way. So I'm going to ask both Velker and Mike, which do you like better, this or Fletcher Pratt? Um, I like Victory at Sea better. I like this, yeah. You like this better? I do. Okay. What is it that makes you like it? Oh, uh, Tommy McGuire says, good job, Velker. Thank you. Wait, started screaming. Yep, good job again, Velker. What? Yeah. I, I think it puts more realism into this without a bunch of complexity. What's your plot? You know, I mean, I think, you know, there's there's firing arcs, but not, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> Ron, this is why we don't give you... The ability to do things. What did I? Nothing. You did nothing. I'm sure. Oh no, you're green. Velker. <laughs> did yeah. you feel very sad? Could be. Could be. Maybe. Also, uh, have sad face. Do you see the sad I face? I do see the sad face. 
So, so okay, so Mike, you like the realism, you like the relative simplicity. I think it obviously yeah. plays very quickly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Velker, why do you like it better? Um, I agree with all of OJ's points, and I think it's it's very interesting how many different critical hits you can get. I think the critical hits add a lot of fun and luck into the game, which is interesting. Yeah, they, it is, and mm-hmm. it's not that easy to get a crit. I mean, obviously, Velker, you certainly punched the snot out of yeah. the Bismarck with one round of crits, but interesting okay because i think i had what about three or four crits on him too just mine weren't necessarily as devastating except for that one engine hit but but you know absolutely right i mean think about it if if early on one of us would have got a a, you know if one of us would have taken out the other's engine in the first two turns you know that that could have been pretty significant event um i think the other thing to repair them you can yes you know yep now now one thing that you know, Tommy McGuire online, he, he made the comment about getting into knife range again. Yeah. But I don't think that there was much of an advantage in this game to stay in distance, was there? Well, I think, well, what's the distance? I know you outrange them. I know that because I know I made it. Right. But, you, the but at the same time, we started those... the battle pretty much in range. Right. And I will, one thing I like, I will say that I like about Victory at Sea, it tells me exactly where to put the ships. You know, that's not, it, it gives it down to the inches, right? So this sure. setup was as designed in the scenario. So I kind of like that. I really do. Because it makes it, you know, it gets me past some stuff. I learned a little bit about how to present it a bit better. Um, I really like the idea of basically using these um, turn templates as a, almost like a palette. I have one of each over here and I can just cut and paste them onto the board and get rid of them. I like doing this with the unit cards. I think that's effective. Although I still think now I, I do want to put some of the stats on a tooltip. The only problem with that is as you start accumulating the crits, you do have to start writing them down. Yeah. You know, the other thing I was going to suggest, Jim, is like, you know how you were doing the damage here? Yeah. Outside the parentheses, the, I, I think what I would do is I would do like you did here, the damage you know, parenthesis 43 slash 14 parenthesis. And then, then when you start doing, well, and then, and then to the right of it on the right, I would have a, another 43 and then just do your countdown. Right. That way, yeah. instead of adding up, subtract it down. That way it's easier to figure out that, Oh, Hey, when we hit 14, we're at that, that disabled phase. Sure. sure. You, you see what I'm saying? I do. I do. That's all. The, um, but well, we were doing this on the fly. We figured this out on the fly. Yeah, so that's that's why you figure stuff out when you play. So I like that. And our red is thrown in his vote for victory at sea. Um, is oh, the for biz- a little two minutes I was in on it. I like it. Is the biz- I've always liked victory at sea. I was gonna say I thought you had it. Um, yeah, I do. The Bismarck. No, the Bismarck is much slower. The Bismarck has a speed of six. No. Or in our game, twelve. Um, and then the, oh, well, actually it's the much. same speed as the hood. The hood is the same and it is faster than the Prince of Wales. Faster. I, t- I was wrong. Yeah. It's faster than the Prince of Wales. Interesting. So I guess my one advantage I could have taken would have been to, to maybe make the sharp, you know, make the turn to, to starboard and go full speed, trying to get some distance with the, you know, getting the uh, Prince of Wales out of gun range and just having to deal with the hood for a while. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that so, I, so there Oh, good. No, just one thing I will note that we didn't give enough credit to the Prince of Wales for Velker is the Prince of Wales does have that armored deck, so you should never have taken bonus da- AP damage from long range fire. Oh. So, you know, I, I don't know how much difference that made. I well, really much. I don't. Who was that, Hood or Prince of Wales? Prince of Wales. Which it didn't matter because I never shot at him. Oh, okay. Except at the end. Well, you're saying that when Prince Eugen hit him, though. Yeah, when the Eugen hit him, yeah, it, it shouldn't have been a plus one. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. No. I, I don't. What's that, Brian? <clears throat> I didn't think you calculated that because I, I didn't have AP. No, it's not AP. When you do ranges over 40 inches, you get a plus one because of plunging fire. Uh, oh, but he has the armored deck. Right, right. Gotcha. Yeah, so... All right, so this pretty much commits me to when we do um, when we do when I do run a game for uh, 
Cyber Wars, I will set up. Uh, I will set something up for victory at sea. Uh, Ian, before I go to sleep tonight, I will upload the Fletcher Pratt battle to the uh, the Mighty Workshop so that it can be there. Just look for it on my system; you'll be able to find it. Um, yeah, these are fun. I like these. I like these. So, what's coming up? Um, I still haven't sorted out Saturday because OJ won't be there. Um, I don't want to do um, the the start to Leipzig, which we're going to start next week. I'm going to push that off. I will post what we're playing, and we'll figure something out, as we always do for the Saturday Night Fights. We have started uh, getting out briefs. People are sending me emails and getting me in for the 1809 Snappy Nappy Kriegspiel. Uh, I've been sp spending a lot of time talking to uh, the author of the game about getting some interpretations about things that I didn't necessarily know so we can get some of those revisions in. And then we're going to play lots of games, so which is fun. Do uh, you want I should upload this has? I will upload this. I'm always happy to share. This is, I want to change it. I, want to, I do want to change it a little bit. There are some things I'm going to tweak. Uh, particularly, I think it would be helpful if I had the... I, I don't want to overload it because there are such interrelated stats. I mean, if you look at the card, the stats that really matter are speed, well, turning, but tar the, inter the interchange between target, armor, ADDD, that's tricky. I don't know if there's an easy way to get around that. But maybe the target and the armor number. Maybe I'll do that. Just trying to think because you're never going to be able, I don't think, efficiently to put the entire unit card on there. But I could, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm open to suggestions. Having What's that? Oh, on the tool tip? Yeah. On just, the tool tip? How, yeah, just how much to put See, in. See, I don't know that. Yeah. I wouldn't, I, I think I would just look at doing what we did here. Damage I think the damage in the crew would be fine. Yeah. And then whatever critical hit is, is getting destroyed because everything else you can look up pretty quickly. I think if, if anything, I mean, there's a big enough board here. We can always take the ship cards and just bring them over here to the board if we wanted to, just so we didn't have to scroll well, back and why, forth so why much. Why would you do something so ugly? Why would you do that to me? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's it, Mike. It's now not ugly. It's, it's practical. Ugly. See, no, I look at, look at the trouble <sighs> I went to to make the nice smoke. Yeah, guys. And nobody smoke used it. Smoke. Nobody smoked. Look at that. I went to all that trouble. I even managed to I figured out how to mostly conceal the smoke generating cubes. Look how nice the smoke is. Nice. I like that. Very nice. It's very poofy. Oh, you bet. We like poofy. Oh, you best believe we like poofy. We definitely like the poofy. Hey, wait. Um anyway, so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, thank you guys for playing. Congrats, Velker. The hood is two for two. There was the Woo! beach. <laughs> My wife calls sweet from the other rooms, cheering for the hood. Wait, quick shot of the hood. There she is. <laughs> There's got to be a has, way to take has, her out, Mike. There's got to be a way. Well, I think I think the key is is here is, is what I said, right, is we need to – and, and just so you know, Ron, we started off with something like this with ship positions and, and what hood and – Whales were like about here. Oh, there you go. So I think it's kind of what I said is we have to get these, the Germans have to get turned to, to starboard and just go flank out trying to leave Prince of Wales behind some. Get her out of gun distance so you have a four to four gun battle going between Hood and, and Bismarck for a while. But at the same time, it's going to take a while to, for Biz, or for Prince of Wales to get out of gun range, I think. Yep. Because you're talking, what is it? Yeah, you're talking long uh, ten, inches. Ten, ten, 10 inches versus 12 inches. So yeah. you, you may be get, you're, you're maybe distancing two inches a turn, and they're already starting at, they're almost at range. Like I said, I think it was the first turn, maybe the second that we started shooting. So that's how, in, in the range is what, Jim, was it 60 or 80? For which? Oh, yeah. Oh, Bismarck is 80. Yeah, Bismarck's got an 80-inch range. Yeah. yeah. So after the first move, at the, at, at the first move, Bismarck was in range. 
And Wales is at 78. So she's just under. But... Yeah. Like I say, I've played yeah, it's this. Tough. I'm guessing I've played this scenario it... 10 times. And the one time the British really took it in the kisser was when the, the Germans did indeed drop one through the deck and blow up the hood. Yeah. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is hood only has a range of 66. Right. So you could actually concentrate your fire from Bismarck against the whales to start with. And um, Yeah, I was just thinking that. Because... Just, just suggest that because then... It would take a little bit for the hood to get into range, so you can try to keep, since you guys are the same speed, keep out of the right. gun range. Yeah. I mean, our hood would just be into gun range. Um, in Oigan, there's not much you could do with her, I don't think, practically. Well, she's got a range of 74. She's actually yeah. got better range than hood, I think, doesn't she? Yeah. Oigan does. Oh, yeah. But the problem is Oigan's only throwing one AD. It, yeah, but but Hood doesn't have uh, armor deck either, though. True. I mean, you know, you get one crit hit on her, right? Oh yeah. Look, you know, when you look at the we're just when you look at either of those ships, when you look at the amount of damage the 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 the, uh, the Prince of Wales can't honest can either of them really. I'm sorry, say that again. I'm just looking at the amount of damage it can take. You know, 41 versus 39 versus the Bismarck's 43. You know, <laughs> and the and the Oigan at its 19. You are the weakest link. Um, right. Yeah. So there it is. All right. Well, I'm going to put the Velker where all good boys go before their school days. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for playing. To everybody watching. Thank you. Uh, Thank you a ton. Always appreciate having you by. And uh, we'll see you on Saturday night for Saturday Night Fights. In the meanwhile, take care of yourselves and one another. We'll see you soon.